What's up guys, HBK, back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at one of Chikoji's pieces. In particular, this one right here. So before we get into it and look at it, uh, I'll just give a little background. So when I bought it, well, in this one of these two boxes I have another piece that I really like to pair up with it. So if you want to see that, I'll make a video on that. Just leave a comment, like, and subscribe. But I uh, was really into jewelry. I really like this piece. I asked him to make it for me. He said, no problem. Um, right after I got this piece, I got my own house. So then after that, I really stopped looking at jewelry just because it was more focused on my mortgage and bills. Um, and now lately I've been just not looking at buying pieces, but just more looking at pieces and stuff like that, looking at prices because I know COVID, you know? Um, anyways, um, let's look at the piece we're talking about today. Um, so again, I bought this piece. Well, let's look. I want to say like a year ago. Oh, so a couple of years ago. So yeah, that's the piece we're going to be looking at today. Um, like I said, when I first bought it, I was really into jewelry. And then I uh, got my house and then I stopped looking at jewelry. So my uh, jewelry uh, information might be a little wrong. But I'm going to have this here to help me out. So anyways... Like I said, in one of these other boxes, I have a piece that I pair it with. So I actually did buy two chains. So there's actually a piece in one and then a chain in the other. Just in case I want to pair it up and make it a little longer and stuff. So the one, as you can see here, uh, I got a rope chain. All my chains are rope chains. Um, 3.5. I think all mine are 3.5. So I got a 20 inch for this one. Um, I think... For the other size, it was a 24 inch, just to make it a little longer, so my other piece can sit above it. Um, 14 karat gold, and that's something I kind of want to talk about. So if you know, the highest quality gold is 24 karat. So I see like a lot of vendors or whatever you want to say out there in the malls and stuff will sell sell you 10 karat, and this is not plated. This is uh, solid. But anyways. Um, they'll try to set you uh, 10 karat, but if you look at the calculator here and do 24 divided, divided by 10, oh, sorry, it's 10 divided by 24, so that's 41. So it's actually only 41% gold and the rest is impurities. So now if you do uh, 24, because 24 is pure 100% gold, if you do 24% gold divided by... 24 carats it is oh i did it again so it'll be 14 divided by 24 so you're almost at 60 percent pure gold so to me if you buy 10 karat gold it's not real gold but that's just an opinion of mine we can argue about that in another video but anyways let's look at this piece so again my uh Everything I might say might be wrong, but again, I have my little QR code here or whatever you want to say, uh, authorization code to look back on. So actually, before we even look at the pendant, really, I want to talk about if you're going to buy a chain to put your pendant on. See, this one's a rope chain. Um, I know I'm going to talk about wrappers and whatever, but... You see a whole bunch of rappers out there with their big Cubans on, and they'll put a uh, a pendant on it, which, whatever, you have all the money in the world, do what you want. But to me, I look at it as that you have a fl flat facing, a uh, like a flat facing uh, chain, if you know what I'm saying. It's all flat where this is like all curvy and stuff. And this is going to be rubbing up and down at 24-7, so like it's just going to scratch the chain. Like, to me, if you want to a uh, buy a chain for a pendant, you're looking at, like, a rope or a figaro or something like that. You're not looking at a, a Cuban or a, a curb, curb 
link or something like that with a flat face because to me it's just gonna get scratched and it's, it's pointless get a rope or a figaro or something so it doesn't get as scratched actually i don't even think a figaro is a nice chain to pair actually i don't know we'll talk about that in another video anyways let's look at this pendant as you can see the pendant is uh where's my camera oh, i won't even focus because it's so shiny 14k um and look at this beautiful sucker. So these are VVS, or sorry, v, VS diamonds. So two away from flawless. So you got, like I said, my jewelry information is a little off because I haven't been in the game for like two years. But let's make me, mistake me if I'm wrong. It goes like V, I don't know, IS. I think I'm missing one. I think it's like S, I, S, V, S, V, V, S, flawless. I know like it goes V, V, S. Sorry, if it goes V, S, V, V, S, and then flawless. I know these are V, S diamonds. Chikoji said these are, would go be your best bang for your buck, which um, I would agree with him on that. So as you can see, this is uh, all... Uh, white diamonds and then uh the black diamonds for the eyes and mouth and uh yeah i really like this pendant i would i would switch up the bail a little bit more i don't i'm not a huge fan of the bail but i do really really like this piece um honestly i don't know much more i can say on it um yeah and i asked for the uh, because the one I paired up with is pretty small too, so I asked for an inch and a inch and a quarter. Because the other one's pretty small too, so it it, it fits nicely. It's a, I don't know. It's a it's a nice size pendant if you don't want to be showing off, but like it's still flashy diamonds, you know. You're still showing off. Anyways, I think I kind of went through everything, rambled a bit. A lot of it probably didn't make sense. I'm not really good at describing anything. Oh, yeah, and it says right here, I didn't even know this, but this uh, pendant's 31 grams, 31.8 grams. I don't know if that includes the diamonds or if that's just gold before he puts the diamonds in. Anyways, this is right there. There's all the information if you want to look it up. But, yeah, Jacoji. Um, I honestly don't think I would go buy my jewelry anywhere else. Um... I go on. I used to go in malls and buy some chains and stuff, but it's a really big ripoff. But the only thing I would say about this is I'm in Canada, so to get this over the border cost me a bit. So that's the only thing I would say. Um, yeah, I wish the sun was shining right now so I could uh, show you the sparkle on this thing. But and two, I've had it for like two years. I don't think I've washed it, but I was saying that too. I probably wore it like twice it stays in my cupboard it's more just a piece for me to come look at once in a while put a smile on my face you know i like jewelry i like diamonds so i like shiny stuff but anyways if uh if you like this video and you got any questions leave a comment um like and subscribe if you want me to talk about uh, a piece i usually pair it up with uh leave a comment saying you want to see a video on that um and yeah like, uh, go on Jacoji's website and see what he's got. I would not buy my jewelry anywhere else. HPK out.